Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we have come to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, in whom all the fullness of deity dwells bodily. And, O Lord, we confess that we have strayed from your path, we have wandered from your way, we have departed from your truth, and we have transgressed your law. And we recognize that we cannot be justified by our good works. We cannot be justified by the law. It's incapable of giving us life. Morality and ritual cannot save us. And so we look to Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, and we place all of our faith in him. We trust only in Christ Jesus. We look to your grace in the Son of God. Forgive us, O Lord, our trespasses, and cancel our record of debt and nail it to the cross, uh, never again to remember our sin. And O Lord, we pray uh, for growth in grace. We pray that our faith might be one which works through love and that we might walk by the Spirit and be led by the Spirit and live by the Spirit and keep in step with the Spirit. We pray that we might crucify the flesh with its lust and its desires. And oh, that the world might be crucified to us and us to the world. And we pray for our life together as a church, that we might be eager to bear one another's burdens, careful not to provoke or envy each other. We pray that we would be eager and willing to do good to all, especially the household of faith, and not grow weary of doing good, but trust that in due season we will reap if we do not give up. And, O oh Lord, we pray for the sick. You declare yourself to be the Lord, our healer. And so we pray that you would heal our afflictions and cure our diseases and repair our broken bodies and restore our failing minds. Preserve us healthy and whole, we pray, so that we are able competently to serve you. And, O oh Lord, we pray for our nation. We see a nation gripped by moral sickness. Uh, the truth is suppressed. In exchange for a lie, we, we are a nation at war with reality, blinding ourselves to your design in, in nature, unable anymore, it seems, even to define or identify what is a man or what is a woman. And so we pray, O oh Lord, that you'll deliver us from this mass delusion and draw back from the brink of insanity and moral destruction. And we pray that you would restore common sense. Grant us leaders with the courage to identify right from wrong and truth from error and reality from unreality. And we pray, O oh Lord, for those poor tortured souls who are thrown into confusion uh, by the, the obscuring of these categories. And, O oh Lord, we pray for Christian mission around the world. As you triumph gloriously over Pharaoh's army, like a man of war hurling horse and rider into the sea, we pray that, that you might triumph once more over the enemies of idolatry and and unbelief, and so we pray for worldwide revival. Bring, up, bring about that day, O oh Lord, when all the nations will praise your name, and every knee will bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And O oh Lord, as we open your word, we pray that it will prove itself once more to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.